So what are we doing? So today we're going to be planting more seeds because yeah. we got carried away. We had to buy a new seed tray because when we were at the store, we picked out more seeds that need to be started indoors. We got the red peppers, cabbage, and our daughter really liked these, so we're going to try those. And I have the seeds soaking for those. And there's six peppers, six cabbage. That'll fill this tray. That's a cabbage? Yeah, cute little round seeds. So the cabbage ones go in half an inch. I lost the seed. <laughs> now we're gonna have a cabbage growing in our window. <laughs> That would be funny, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now in the middle, we'll do the peppers. These go in a quarter inch. See, we're rebels and we don't label our seeds. We just, <laughs> yeah. We just plant them and hope we know what they are when the time comes. Well, we're not starting that many inside. Yeah. I don't even know if I got, like the, the peppers I'm growing over here, I don't know if they're red or green because the package shows both. <gasps> yeah, but peppers turn from green to red. I know, but I think some are meant to be green and some are meant to be oh, red. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know anything about peppers, I just like them. And then these, I'm going to plant three of these seeds in the dirt. And then I'm going to plant three using the paper towel technique, but I'm going to use a rag instead of a paper towel in why? a baggie. And why are we using a rag? Because we don't own paper towels. <laughs> yeah. We've seen Ozark Off-Grid Family mm -hmm. and Art and Homesteading do the paper towel technique. So we're going to try it with three of these. Mm -hmm. So these go in a quarter inch as well. I had them soaking because I read online you should do that to help germination and it stuck to me. I'm sorry if my camera work is bad, but I'm holding a little boy and he's wobbling me all over. So I'm holding the camera with one hand and the, the little man with the other. Sticking. There we go. So those three were soaked and they're going straight in the dirt. Yeah, I'm and doing kind of an experimental thing. And the other three are going to be going inside this uh, damp wet bag. Rag bag. Rag bag. <laughs> Rag bag. So one, two, Three. Fold that up. I remember doing the wet paper towel technique in fourth grade, but I think we grew like beans, like learning about germination and stuff. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the same as like sprouting? Couldn't you use a sprouting jar? Like, uh, remember like Doug and Stacy made those sprouted broccoli? Yeah. Isn't that essentially the same idea? Yeah, you're just sprouting them. So, yeah. Now we'll just water these using our little water that Doug made with mm -hmm. the holes in the cap. Okay. <laughs> and also, the passion flowers have to be kept somewhere warm to germinate. So, I'll probably move this next to one of our heaters. Mm -hmm. There would be a heater here. But since we're working on the wall, it's right there. But that should be back together very soon. 
You can show these how big they're getting. Those are the tomatoes, obviously. And these are peppers. Most of them came up except for one, two. This one's starting to, I, I noticed. I dug it up and I found it, so it's, <laughs> it's, I got impatient, so I started poking around in the soil. So yeah, I'll continue to wet these and that's it for that. So we've been wanting a new banner for our YouTube channel. I've been working on that for the last couple of days and I put a lot of time into it today because we had a rainy day and couldn't do anything outside. So uh, I think I'm done. I might tweak it a little bit, but we're pretty happy. This is the, uh, the main uh, idea behind it. And here it is all together, mini setting. So I'm really happy with it. So that's our new, uh, it's our logo kind of thing, but it's for our YouTube banner on our homepage. So go check out our channel page, take a look at it. Let us know if you like it, our new um, design. And basically what I wanted it to represent is obviously the M for mini steading. And here's a house, you know, kind of representing the home. And this represents the garden, kind of like the uh, tilled field on the grass. So it's kind of like home and garden, mini steading. So I hope you like the concept, something I came up with and uh, I think it came out good.